Spin. What? Ladies and gentlemen, we're here in this fourth and final quarterfinal match between Rocky Carson and Daniel De La Rosa. The winner of this match will take tomorrow on in the semifinal Alejandro Landa, who just won, versus Sebastian Franco in straight sets. One interesting note that I was given is that if, if Daniel De La Rosa wins this match, it would be an all-Mexican semifinals, first time in IRT history that all the players are Mexican. That's going to be something else if that happens. This is an 8 o'clock match that is starting right now, a little bit after 9. Rocky coming in on this as the number two player ranked on the tour. So game one, Rocky Carson will serve first in this match. Rocky starting it up. Reverse sea serve. Daniel killing that ball from his backhand going into the service box. Daniel De La Rosa, originally from San Luis Potosí, Mexico. Rocky Carson from Ladera Ranch, California. Wow. Point by Daniel De La Rosa. One serving zero on the head pen scoreboard. Daniel trying to get this match. I talked to him earlier. Obviously, he'll give his very best effort to end this in two games. He does not want to go to distance with the Iron Man of racquetball, Rocky Carson. Daniel with a Right side lob there to Rocky. Rocky with a ceiling shot, Daniel with a setup. Oh, Daniel skipping that shot. Now putting Rocky in the box. Dean Bear, welcome. What's up, Fabio? What a great pinch right there by DLR. So Fabio. Thanks for taking care of the uh, the broadcast team last uh, last match. I was able to catch the catch a well needed break. To be honest, oh, we had a good interview with Alex Landa. I saw it was in Espanol. I don't know what you said, but yeah. Well, we did a little bit in English, then a little bit in Spanish. A lot of people were asking us to interview one of these guys in Spanish. A lot of people were excited. I was just telling folks at the beginning of this match that if. Daniel De La Rosa wins, we're going to have an all-Mexican semifinals for the first time, if he wins. I don't know about, I don't know about, oh, all, all, mean. all the players will be Mexican, if De La Rosa wins. Alvaro, we're going to play Andre, and Alex Landa will play the winner of this match. True, very true, very true. Kadim Carrasco, Tony Pagioni, Kim Randolph, thank you guys for checking in in our box. Please like our post share our feed we appreciate it second serve coming up Rocky Carson killing that ball in the right corner great hands right there by De La Rosa Second serve for Carson. Two straight for Landa. That was um Yes, two uh, straight for Landa. That was a little uh not an upset, but I mean it was a good match. Uh,
De La Rosa ceiling shot, Rocky ceiling shot. Oh, <laughs> what was that? Yes, it was. Put in C. Wow. wow. Wow, Daniel taking a very gutsy, very gutsy shot. Two serving two on the head pen scoreboard. Back in action here, sunny Sarasota. De La Rosa, Carson, cross court, winner shot. Two Rocky serving two. Carson. Screen serve right there. De La Rosa, ceiling shot there. Carson with a setup. And Carson destroying that ball from the back. Wow. You know, Rocky, always looking solid. The racquetball's Iron Man is looking very, very well. <laughs> you call him Rock, uh, racquetball's Iron Man? Iron Man, yeah. De La Rosa waiting for that shot, cross courting it. Gets a setup. What does he do? Good shot. Rocky right. from the back. Skip ball there, but the call was overturned. So Daniel does not lose his appeal. to the service box. Daniel, a lob serve to the right. Rocky with the overhead. Daniel with ceiling shot. Oh, and Rocky just destroying that, that ball. One. Wow. Three serving two, Carson. Carson. What a great serve to the right. What Ooh, a fantastic. Swing and a miss right there by De La Rosa. Wow, that was a great serve by Rocky that allowed him to get a setup from Daniel. Difficult serve, Daniel couldn't control it, and he capitalized on it. Rocky gets a point. Wow, flatty right there by Carson. Five two now Carson leading by three. This first game of this last quarterfinal match of the evening. Daniel diving, getting the ball. Rocky, Daniel, Rocky from the back. Daniel, keeping it alive. Oh, great cross court right there by Carson. Daniel completely going the other way. So 6-2, Rocky Carson leading by four here in this first game. Mistake right there, but bad shot selection by Rocky. Daniel De La Rosa, back to the service line. Two serving six. Daniel, drive strip to the right. Rocky down the line. Daniel picks it up, wow. Great shot right there. 
fantastic effort. Point for De La Rosa. Three serving six on the head pen scoreboard. De La Rosa again. Drive to the right, short, second serve. De La Rosa going for it. But he goes the other way. Rocky Good Carson play cross court. There by Carson. He cut he catches Daniel going the other way. Great Carson shot selection. Is, Carson is moving Daniel around the court very easily early in game one. Wow. Good hands right there by De La Rosa to keep that ball just down the line. Well, De La Rosa has to figure this one out, uh, Dean. You know, he's having a lot of trouble scoring points on Rocky. He had some side outs, but, you know, he has to score some more points here. He's taking a lot of time to do so. The longer this match goes, the better for Carson. Uh, uh, that's always. I mean, what what's happening here is that um, Daniel is, is not... Um, Daniel's not serving well. No, he's not. Short serve by Carson. Good pick up there by De La Rosa. Rocky going down the line, great effort right there. Trying to shoot that ball, Daniel from, wow. Great, great pinch right there. Carson could not catch up to that. So Carson versus De La Rosa. Carson is 15 and 10 versus Daniel De La Rosa. So historically, Rocky Carson's been on top there. I mean, well, da Daniel, Daniel has played, this is what Rocky's, how, how long, 20th season, I think? 20th. 20, no, 24th. 24th season. And and Daniel has is, a, is at 11 at such a young age. Daniel was 15 years old when he played in his first U.S. Open in 2008. Daniel was born in 93. Rocky Carson's first... Um, mat, his first pro match was in 95, so De La Rosa was... Was two. One and a half, actually. Daniel going bottom board, comes up short. Carson's been in 20, has 26 titles, 74 finals appearances to De La Rosa's three titles and 13 finals appearances. I was at, I was courtside for Daniel's first uh, tier one win against against Alvaro Beltran in New Jersey in New Jersey or New Jersey now New Jersey okay. it was at the New Jersey uh, Open I believe it was when that tournament used to be um, a pro stop uh, uh, the tournament director there just doesn't want to run pro stops. Club's still there. Carson and the box. So this is our final quarterfinal tonight. So the winner of this match plays Alex Lana tomorrow. Absolutely at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good down the line by De La Rosa. Two bounces. Two bounces there. So people are asking in the chat box, why is this match on YouTube being referred to as the Bolivian Grand Slam? We're having some difficulties uh, resetting that title on the YouTube, but we're uh, 
So we're working on it. Carson serving. Tough, strong. Daniel. Back wall. Carson. Back wall. Carson. Perfect Daniel, down the line. Down the line. There by Rocky Carson. Nine serving three on the head pen scoreboard. Rocky Carson getting ready to serve. A late night right here, ladies and gentlemen. The last match of the night. Just a big reminder to all of you guys, tomorrow night is the finals, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Semifinals, noon, 1 p.m. Good pick up right there by Carson. Great shot right there by De La Rosa. Time out on the court. We'll take a short break ourselves right here on the IRT Network. You're about to witness one of the fastest sports in the world with a ball traveling at speeds close to 200 miles per hour. Execution. Determination. Sacrifice. Fearless. Discipline. Action. You have to be a little crazy. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Dean Bear here. Courtside, Sarasota. Sitting with Fabio Soto. Oh. We're in our fourth and final quarterfinal match of the evening between Daniel De La Rosa and Rocky Carson. A lot of guys checking in. Mr. Rollout is in there. Mark Gibbs is in there. Jillian Cobb. Thomas Carter. Shane DeWitt. Rodney Southwood, Mr. Southwood, my dude. Tony Ross. I saw Frederic Lambert in there. If you're in there, you need to sign up. Your partner signed up for the tournament next weekend in New York, and you didn't. Oh, Frederic Lambert will be in New York, I guarantee you. That's Dr. Lambert. De La Rosa pushes that down. Carson, good pickup. Oh... That ball died in the corner. Ten serving three. Commanding lead by Rocky Carson. Yes, he's looking more comfortable now, more confident. Rocky come down. Uh, Rocky, uh, last tournament that he played was in uh, Bolivia. Uh, Daniel's last tournament was before that. He didn't go to Bolivia. No, so but he's been serving extremely well as of late, Rocky Carson. And today is no different. Wow. You know, I expected a little bit more different game from Daniel coming into this match. I expected a lot closer match. And he's just not performing well. 11 serving three on the head pen scoreboard. Good pick up by De La Rosa. Behind the back <laughs> kill shot right there. DLR.
You know, Rocky Carson is the number three, a number two player in the world on the IRT. And you know what? He's moving Daniel around. Uh, you know, he's controlling center court, which is the, you know, the key value in, 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 in the game is to control that middle and keep your opponent, you know, off guard. And Rocky's doing a great job of it. Well, that's the thing. You know, Rocky makes uh, players play bad. Yeah. You know, he makes some play, plays bad. And, and, you know, Daniel DeRosa is no exception. Daniel, as you said, the, his record, Rocky versus Daniel, is 15 and 10. So it's not that bad. It's in Rocky's favor, of course. There was one of the matches where Rocky was up two games to none at the uh, U.S. Open, and Daniel won in a, in a game five. It oh, was an yes. amazing right. match to watch. Rocky can't catch up to those little soft hands of the pretty boy, DLR. The golden boy and the pretty boy on the court. Mexican pretty boy. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know, Dean. I, I can't agree with you on that one. I think a lot of people are gonna say no. And I'm <laughs> that, that he's not a pretty boy, is that it? Yeah, of course. I mean, look, listen, I'm, I'm sure that there's some ladies here in the chatter box that are gonna say no, so you know, be careful with those comments. I don't know if I saw her. I don't know if Michelle's in the box. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ray Lynn says he's, he's a good looking guy. <laughs> Let me give a shout out to Michelle De La Rosa and Ray Lynn De La Rosa. Shout out to them. Yes, yes. So uh, interesting day of events here today here in the IRT Pro Stop in the Florida. You know, Kane Waslinchuk, the one, number one seed against eight seed. Alvaro Beltran took out Kane in a tiebreaker in what some people say was an amazing match. Um, obviously for Alvaro, it was an amazing match. I guess it's not. And Michelle's checking in right now. Here you go, Michelle. Oh, there you go. Michelle's so, on board. You know, um, you know, that was the first matchup. Second matchup was uh, Parilla versus Horn, and Andre, you know, controlled that match start to finish. Um, and then we had the Landa-Franco match. Uh, Franco pushed him, but, you know, in the end, Landa, two straight. And now here we are. So someone in the chat box said, no, uh, Sebastian is the pretty boy. I don't know well, about he that. Said, he said Mexican pretty boy. He didn't yeah, say I did. Uh, he said, uh, Sebastian could Mexican. be the Colombian pretty boy. <laughs> De La Rosa now to serve. So a few points for De La Rosa, and Carson called the timeout. Let's see if it works out well for him here. De La Rosa, second serve. Rocky with a setup from the back. Good kill shot right there by Del by Rocky Carson. What was De La Rosa's? Did he think it skipped? I, I thought it was a good shot by Carson. No, but De La Rosa was staying up there. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's got to work the ref. He's got to sell it. But I thought he was good. No appeal, though. Yeah, I don't know what he would have appealed. Carson serving. Coming up with the Z. No. Skip ball. It's a point for Carson. Interesting choice of serves for Carson. It he, worked. He stays in that. Well, from that service box, he serves to the right. He serves, uh, you know, the tight Z. You know, and now he's moving himself around, keeping Daniel off guard. Definitely like the serves from Rocky Carson. Good pick up there by De La Rosa. Power. Raw power by Carson with that cross-court shot. Great shot by Rocky Carson. So 13, serving seven in the headpan scoreboard. Rocky two points shy of win this first game. Second serve coming up. A law for Daniel. Yeah, Daniel went for Perfect it. Perfect shot right down the line. Daniel I had the it. greatest view for that, oh, for yeah. that shot right there. Did you see the ball curve? Yep, seven serving 13 on the head pen scoreboard. Wow, 
Daniel making this great effort to get that ball and just Rocky was waiting for it. Kills it in the right corner. 13 serving seven again. 13 serving seven again. Carson in the box. Drive serving it to the right. Cross court by Daniel. Daniel gets a setup. And unfortunately skips that ball, giving Rocky Carson his first game point. So first game point opportunity here for Rocky Carson in the service box. 14-7. Doubled up. Carson serving. Drive serve. Short serve. Moose is watching. Carson, second serve. High lob. Two bounce get right there. Seven serving 14. Daniel has his back against the wall here. Ah, oh, not a smart shot right there by De La Rosa. I don't know what he was trying to do, just flick it to the front. Another game point for Second Rocky opportunity. Carson. Carson driving. Daniel playing the quick game. Game one in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Carson, 15-7. Let's go to a commercial break right here in the 2019 Florida IRT Pro-Am, Sarasota, Florida, here on the IRT Network. Hi, I am Rodrigo Montoya Solis, the current world champion. Another ripping serve from Montoya. And I want to thank the Reaching Your Living Foundation for all the support. Oh my gosh! Because without them, I couldn't afford all my expenses to go to the tournament, and I wouldn't have experience that I have now. Oh, there it is! Montoya from Mexico is the world champion for 2018. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Getting ready to start game number two here. What do you think, Dean? Uh, you know, coming into the second game right now, what adjustments do you think that Daniel De La Rosa needs to make to stay in this? His back is against the wall now. Um, what, what you're going to probably see from Daniel is um, he's probably going to go for broke a little more. Uh, so he's going to go for the rollout. You know, what, what I like about Daniel De La Rosa is he doesn't usually change, you know, his, um, his style. And that may be because he doesn't have a, you know, a full-time coach at the event you know, where a coach is going to tell him in this game, hey, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to not do this, um, you know, so to speak. So um, th that's what I'm kind of seeing. Uh, that's what I, I, I'll see from him is you're not going to really see anything. You know, it's just going to, uh, you, you're just going to see Daniel play like Daniel, and he's going to hope that, you know, Rocky gives him more opportunities to, to kill the ball and that he doesn't skip. That's what I think is going to happen from, uh, from Daniel. Guys, please like our feed, share our post. We would appreciate it. That's how our viewers get up. We have so many of you in the chat box here. So many watching um, online on, on YouTube. We have so many people watching matches. The other matches from today, uh, the numbers are, are actually astonishing already and they're gonna keep growing. So here we are, game two. We're waiting for our uh, line judge to get back here. So 
So getting ready for this particular game. Fabio, this is this could be the last game of the night, obviously, if Rocky Carson wins. Yes, if Rocky Carson does take care of business and puts it away, he will definitely this will definitely be the last uh, game of the evening. But you know, if Daniel pushes the envelope and he takes care of his business, then we're going for a third and final decisive game. Two eleven. For two. those of you watching, new people to the watching racquetball, we play two out of three. Two out of three games, you got to win any two games. Back in action here. Good serve by uh, Daniel De La, Rosa, De La Rosa to start game number two. That's an ace serve for De La Rosa, who's up now 1-0. I wonder if he was catching Rocky leaning or it was just a really good serve. So there's Another two in a row. Serve. So deceptiveness is in Daniel's bag of trips right, tricks right now. Good get right there by Rocky Carson. I thought it was a good get as well. Good call by Scott McClellan. No appeals by De La Rosa? Not this early. You're not going to use your appeal. Well, unless you're completely sure. Not a good shot selection for De La Rosa. So if I'm playing and, and I get that particular type of serve, when, when, when I spin around, my shot is coming to the left of the court almost 98.9% of the times. I doubt I'm going to take a different shot. Owl timeout sponsored by Service Master Restore. Good action right here, De La Rosa. Tied up at two, Carson. Carson at the service box. Good serve right there by Carson. Daniel giving Rocky a setup. Rocky taking a ceiling shot. Daniel being more offensive. And Rocky with great hands on the front of the court. Very nice. I'm, it, it was, that was a good rally. I it mean, was. Daniel barely got his racket on. Had a really good return there uh, where it just kind of hit the front wall, but Rocky was standing right there waiting. Rocky keeping it real and keeping it simple. Carson. There's the Carson serve. Good pick up there by De La Rosa. Excellent cross court kill shot by Daniel De La Rosa. 4 serving 2 on the head pen scoreboard. Wow. So equipment timeout. De La Rosa coming off to get a, a new racket. Oh, a glove. Had a rip in the glove. Five serving two. Carson. 
5-2 on top, Rocky Carson winning by three. Set up for De La Rosa right down the line. Carson's right there. Great hands by Carson in the front. Yeah, again, go, come hands. back to the shot selection. Daniel's shot was not down the line. It was more towards the, you know, uh, the, it was to the left side, but not down the line and across court. Rocky's way up front. Skip ball. Good points by Rocky Carson. Seven serving two now, Carson. Leading Daniel by five in this second game of this last quarterfinal match of the evening. Oh, skip ball by Carson right there. Going for bottom board. Very un-Carson-like. <laughs> Daniel, short serve, trying to surprise, trying to catch him off guard here. Daniel needs to make improvements now. He needs to make changes right now. The bottom board right there for De La Rosa. Side out by Carson again. Seven three Carson. Drive serve coming up. In the driver's seat. Shorts. You've been saying it all day, Dean. These guys are missing a lot on their first serves. Yeah. A lot. I mean Carson's been uh, a little bit better than the others, uh, but what we've been seeing on this particular court, oh well, this morning Kane was missing a lot of his shots in his sixteen. Carson wasn't. Um, in the sixteen. You know, I didn't see the other ones, you know, but uh, Andre and, and um, Bobby Horn, his shots were, you know, their, their first serves were not on point. They weren't. They weren't landing, I should say. So eight serving three now. Miss Jordan Cooper Ryder watching. Jordan, how are you? Drive down tomorrow. Oh, no, you have a big final, I know. Short serve. I'll say this game's far from over. Hopefully it is. We're shooting for that 11-10 tiebreaker you're talking about. <laughs> Good serve by Carson off the back wall. De La Rosa is there. Nice. De La Rosa usually tips that right to the corner, right to the front. And Carson was on the movement going up. And De La Rosa put a nice little slap across cross court. No return. Akul is watching. Akul, will you go to Junior Nationals? That's the question. To be or not to be at Junior Nationals? He's that a world is, champion, 14 and under. Bottom board for De La Rosa comes up, hitting all the wood. No thanks. <laughs> Give me a break. Give <laughs> <laughs> Fabio's breaking off a piece of that bar. Jordan is, Jordan Cooper Ryder, I know you wish. We talked the other day and she's in school, not playing. All these kids got to go to college, got to get jobs. Rocky climbing the wall. Flatty right there from DLR. <laughs> wow, what an amazing shot for Daniel. That was a flat. 50-50, a cool thank you. Good. Let's let's move that needle. Oh, what a diving. What a yeah, dive there by Della Rosa. Yeah, but Carson with a way better cross court shot. But, you know, this is something that we've talked about for a year or so now. You know, D Daniel dives for some balls that he has like a 0% chance of actually getting. But obviously in his mind, he thinks he can get it. And, and he's sacrificing a, a lot of body, you know, for, for balls that he most likely is not going to get. M more than not. 
nine, serving three on the head pen scoreboard. Last match of the night here, Sarasota. Good kill shot right there by Carson. And now 10-3, Carson. Yeah, th you know, this is something that I don't like when the scores, this, this uh, deficit. Daniel's, you know, body language says one thing. I, I know that it's not, you know, his, what he means to do. And sometimes I've seen him have this type of body language and come back, like because he gets much more relaxed. But I'd, I'd like to see a little more focus. More than focus, too, aggressiveness. He's losing his edge. Look at that right now. Eleven serving three now, Carson. Four points away. Four points away from winning this match and closing it in. Second serve coming up for Carson. Looking to move himself into the semifinals. Excellent cross court there by De La Rosa. Gets a set from Here's Carson. Here's the plum. And Daniel. he buries it into the corner. Daniel capitalizing. Making a great shot right there. Keeping it real. He's down by eight though. Three serving 11 right now in the second game. Wow, a flatty right there. Rocky Carson. Eleven serving three again. So someone, someone in the chat box says so much for the All Mexican Finals. It's not over. Well, that's a very true. Until the fat lady sings. Yeah, well she's warming up. Oh, Daniel just waiting for that ball to come off the back wall, but unfortunately it doesn't. He skips that shot. Now it's 12 serving three in favor of Rocky Carson. Three points away now from closing it, Dean. Yeah, Rocky's, uh, you know, and his job now is to just, you know, concentrate on one point, you know, to get himself into the next round uh, and not you know, not let Daniel get any points. You, you need to, when you have your opponent against the ropes like this, you can't kind of slow down. You got to step on the throat. Just want to remind people that are watching that the winner of this match will take on Alejandro Landa tomorrow at 1 p.m. So semifinals tomorrow, Beltran, Perilla at noon. Landa, the winner of this match at 1 p.m. Followed by a 7 p.m. final, Saturday night finals, Super Saturday. That's racquetball's terms for the finals on Saturday night. And here we go, Carson, back in the service box. Nice, good point there by Rocky Carson. Yes, he needed that point. I want to say hello to Miguel Perea, who is connected right now in the box, in the chat box, president of the Mexican Racquetball Federation, watching. How Daniel are you, Rosa. Miguel? Second serve coming up. Rocky Carson going with the slap Z. Daniel goes up top to Rocky's forehand. Seems to be the consensus. Point. Here we go, first match point opportunity for Rocky Carson. Game is over, ladies and gentlemen. Rocky Carson will move on. That's about it for tonight for Fabio Soto. I'm Dean Baer. Thank you, Dean. We're going to sign off tonight from the 2019 uh, Florida IRT Pro-Am Sarasota Finals. Once again, let's run down the lineup real quick for tomorrow. Uh, Beltran Priya, noon Eastern Standard Time. Landa, Carson, 1 p.m.
Eastern Standard Time. Finals, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's it. Dean Bear, thank you very much. We had a fantastic day today transmitting the round of 16's quarterfinals. And we'll be back tomorrow at 12 p.m. Yeah, I want to say thanks to everyone that helped out here today. Uh, our, our, our producer, Pablo Fajé. Thank you so much. Good job today. Uh, thank you to Chad and uh, um, Robbie at the desk, keeping things moving, getting things on time. Uh, from the IRT management team, I'm Dean Bear. We're going to sign off tonight. We will see you tomorrow, noon Eastern Standard Time, here on the IRT Network. Do you want to be a better racquetball player? Fran Davis can and will make you a better player. Guaranteed. Pro or beginner and every level in between. Paula Longoria, Rocky Carson, and legends Jason Menino and Sudzi Monchek all use her proven systems to be a better racquetball player and champion. Check out her book, DVD, camps, coaching sessions, and video analysis. All at FranDavisRacketball.com.